But good afternoon, everybody. It's, it's great to be here. It's, a, it's, it's actually a privilege and not something I expected a year ago. A year ago, I was harassed <laughs> by these calls from a strange, at that time, strange lady. And she said, you need to come help. And I said, with what? And she says, there's a program called Partners for Possibility. And I said, that's great. I'll get back to you. <laughs> and true to form, she got back to me. And I'm glad I actually listened uh, to Meredy. Um, and then it was a bit of an arranged marriage after that. Um, Danny and I were put together and we, we embarked on this journey. And the reason I embarked on the journey initially it has, is not the reason that it's ended up being. Initially I embarked on the journey, I, I work for a company called Impact. Um, we employ about 220, 230 people in Atlantis. And so it was an opportunity for CSI, um, Corporate Social Investment, and this was going to be our CSI project for 2019. So that was my objective. We were going to help, we were going to go in and help and put a paint of coat on and do our deed. Um, what had ended up happening was, I think, the, the opposite happened. We actually, with the, <laughs> the investment, the school ended up helping us in reality more than we helped them. And let, let me just give you a tangible uh, example of how this happened. In, and I don't want this to, to be about the company, but I just want, I think we've got a few people out there who might be thinking, should we do this, should we do it? Um, and let me tell you our story. Um, last year in the plastics industry, we, we in the plastics industry, or the company I work for, there was the worst strike in about 25 years, nationally. Um, <coughs> some people died staff, factory owners, it was the worst strike ever. But at our site in Atlantis, it was probably the best strike in 25 years. Not probably, it was the best strike in 25 years. And I attribute it totally and wholly to the, the relationship that we have developed as a partnership. Um, and there's tangible things that happened, so this is not, you know, wishful thinking, this is real a real tangible result that has improved the life of, of myself um, and our factory. And as a consequence, it has led me to think deeply about, as, as a business person, as a business leader, <laughs> what is my real engagement or level of engagement in my community? Is it superficial? Or do I actually leave a bit of my heart in the community because I'm working close enough with them to feel for them, to love them. And, and that's what I've got out of this program. So Danny, do you want to introduce yourself? I was like, I'm going to say, as I can begin myself to introduce it will take me two hours. Okay. <laughs> but this is a longer speech that uh, Caleb, I can't believe it's Caleb that's speaking here because Caleb gives you 10 words and he's finished. <laughs> and, uh, but <clears throat> it was a wonderful journey for me, but the first time when Melody and uh, Caleb came, came in my office, <coughs> I looked at these two white, guy, white people and I said to myself, oh my God, again two white people. <laughs> <laughs> and those who know me, and Caleb knows me that politically I, I was in the politics years ago, and it's for me very easy to speak about color. And, um, and when uh, uh, Melody um, explained to me everything, I said, this is a good man. And a half an hour after that, we become friends, wonderful friends. And for me to, to end my, um, my education career this year is very hard because it's a time where I know Caleb. Caleb is a man that uh, believes that he gives the boss the most difficult time. <laughs> there is, I can't believe it when I come to uh, Caleb's office, Caleb said to me, yo, oh, again my boss, he wants this and he wants that and he wants that and I listen to him and I say to Caleb, give the boss what he wants. <laughs> you will never have any problems. <laughs> Do what I say to you, you give the boss what he wants. And Caleb give the boss what he wants. <laughs> And when we have a meeting at uh, my school of his, uh, or the factory, I ask Caleb, how was going? No, man. 
I give the boss what he wants. He's wonderful, he's like everybody work, I enjoy my work because I don't worry about the boss, I give him what he wants. And uh, for me it's wonderful, the school together for us and uh, that is Tony Clark he stand there he sat there and we love him at my school I will show you later there's six foreigners at my school there's one of them are also there I can't say he look like a South African don't say he's a Nigerian <laughs> don't say he's a Nigerian in my country Nigerians uh, there's, there's serious problems if there is you say he's a Nigerian there is me and and Kelef We, we like personal friends and when I'm not there anymore, I, I, I give him that message that he must be at my funeral or I will be at his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> you can go on. Okay. Then uh, we have... Uh, can I just say yes. something? Yes. So, <laughs> so we're going to... The presentation covers the fruit over the last year. and. If I can just add, at the, at the start of the program, um, Danny looked, I don't know if the photo shows it, but he looked not fully energetic. <laughs> <laughs> and he wondered how he was going to get through the last year. And I think that's what this, this program is there for, is to, to bring the energy levels up. Because leadership, as, as many of the principals have expressed, can be very lonely. And you often, you, you, you struggle alone with the problems. And when you, you enter this program, you learn to have a thinking partner. And it's really not a spouse, because they don't want to hear more troubles necessarily. Um, but it's somebody that you can just talk to and listen to and share ideas with. And when we started, uh, Danny gave me this long list of what he wants me to do. And I did nothing. <laughs> So what we're going to see here is everything that Danny did um, because of his energy levels. And so just with that preamble. One week when it comes to my school, I speak Afrikaans and he speak English when he go back to the factory. And that's why Kelly's Afrikaans is wonderful. He can speak <laughs> wonderful Afrikaans. I try to make my utmost best to speak English. Um, from my school, I've got uh, six uh, foreigners there. There's two from, Br from Brazil. And they are there busy with um, arts at my school. And then we have other, um, we have more than t uh, between 200. There's children at the school, they don't want to go home. And that's a difficult thing to do because we are worried there's nobody there, but they want to be. I'm the only school, primary school in Atlanta, that has a skateboard park there. And you can think what will happen. I have my own uh, blue, um, they call it the blue court, but it is a multi-purpose court of 1.2 million that is at my, at my school. And all once there, and from 5 o'clock to from uh, Five o'clock, if there's nobody there, uh, I give um, one hour for the gangsters to play on the court. <laughs> and uh, don't go from five to seven to my school. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can go on? Okay. That is the truth. I haven't got time to explain that, but that is the truth. <laughs> then we have our... and match classes to help the learners there. Then you can go on. Then we have the... skateboard um, program. Every, um, from Monday to Friday, the skateboard park has been used by um, 30 grade threes when they go out and then when they get four to seven is all, uh, uh, they are all, all th uh, 30 learners and other 30 learners, there's 60 learners and they come to the school to um, 
make a program of that and I will put it on the, on the group when they will, uh, when the program will be on Kignet. Then, uh, the school eight families that is um, where it's broken families more of them and uh, where they have to learn this this families how to be a family and that was for me wonderful because for the last six months uh, th uh, six weeks every um, afternoon every from uh, six to eight at night I'm at, at, at my school with the with the uh, with the program and it's a wonderful wonderful program then um, the that is um, what is the um, what can uh, is there people with um, with uh, with skills that can come to the school and one of them was Michelle I mean, Michelle is the chairperson of the extreme youth on a Friday afternoon on a Friday night and uh, we work together. <laughs> And she is now at my school and work with the ten. Michelle, we call it the ten beautiful kids, not naughty. The ten beautiful kids. So working with them, and from outside we take every Friday to the extreme youth, uh, ten to fifteen learners to her program at night, at Friday night, so that we can be part of impact the program there. Um, then um, the most beautiful of. For, for, for to under, if you are part of that, you understand that what Mary is saying makes sense, that you have to control your own emotion. That's very important. Then we have um, uh, principles today. And uh, they make a um, um, we make a decision that me and Terence School will be a pilot school from next year for uh, the the values, on the, and we will part of this Rotary Club will make Atlantis a value driven community. But that is for uh, for other day because it will take me two hours to explain to you that. Um, There's only one Nigerian there, the others are all white there. <laughs> and um, if you, if you, I see I have difficult, difficult, today I have two ooh, difficult, difficult parents at my school. But if you said, to you, if you put a white man there, calm, no problems. <laughs> Ask if you, if you have, you, you listen, the, they whisper there in the foyer. Uh, Mr. Peterson will see now that and yesterday happened that and so on and when we come um, in the staff room say this this is uh, Tony he's from Australia then all oh, the smiles are there <laughs> they, do, yes, they understand Tony Tony is my second deputy at school he do every uh, everything that I ask him to do he do it for me and they uh, and then we have two Brazilians there and we have oh, uh, the Nigerian there, and then we have a, a, for some one from Spain and one from Italy. That is the team there. They do the after-school activities, and this, they, they, I think they pray very hard that I'm not going um, away because they worried what will happen next year. Um, can do on, go on. Then uh, <coughs> we have. Um, Meredith also asked me, Danny, what do you learn about that workshop? And then I stand, I say, Meredith, nothing at that <laughs> workshop. I say, why? I say, I'm 33 years in education, because I'm a workshop. 
Uh, but that was a good one, a community workshop, and I learned very, I, I think I, I, I learned something there. Only one sentence, but I learned something there. What was uh, the sentence? Hmm? What was the sentence? The sentence there, uh, the sentence what I have there is, open the bonnet. <laughs> if there's a problem, open the bonnet. Yes. <laughs> For those who are young principals, if there's a problem at school, open the bonnet. Um, thank you. And I wait for my friend to bring for me the paint, and then we will <laughs> we will paint that. Um, then we have a problem with uh, safety at my school. Give them to take them in as to be general workers. You will see now. They say, "Oh, I love them. I love them. They do everything right, and South Africans do everything wrong." <laughs> um, <coughs> they work from eight to four, and four is four. <laughs> in South Africa, it's eight to four, and four. You must wonder if you work from four. <laughs> Um, then, next one. next one is thank you, I want to you watch the um, Karika final Saturday, last Saturday, that one of my boys was in the Lion Squad on centre. And then if you watch, um, Bunnelanders tonight, yes, you, can, you look to Dr. Tex, also from high school. And that is for me the wonderful things that there is talent in Atlantis. And we have wonderful children in Atlantis. And thank you very much that you have the time to listen to me. Thank you very much. Yes. Thanks everybody. Um, just from a, again from a business side, uh, we have three business leaders who, from Atlantis who are involved in this and um, if anybody knows of any other business leaders in Atlantis, please encourage them to get involved. Um, <clears throat> I think it's our job as, as community members, as school leaders, as business leaders um, to build bridges at this time in our country and this, this program for me has been by far the best bridge building exercise I have ever been on. Um, and I, don't, I generally don't exaggerate, but it has been by far the best event ever. So thank you. <laughs>